Hi, my name's Daisy and I'm going to be answering today's Wednesday Wisdom. Now have you ever wondered what happens to moths and butterflies when the weather gets colder? Where do they go over winter? Well, lots of insects struggle to remain active in colder temperatures, so they'll either die off at the end of their breeding season or the end of their life cycle. However, lots of moths and butterflies will actually choose to go through something called diapause, which is a state of dormancy. They'll then re-emerge in spring when the weather's warmer. Now there's lots of species that do this, including brimstone butterflies, peacock butterflies and small tortoise shells. And you'll often find them taking refuge in your house or in your shed, so make sure you keep an eye out. Red Admiral butterflies will also come out of the state of diapause on a particularly sunny day, so you may even see a few of them flitting about as well. Now incredibly, there's a few species of butterfly moth that will choose to skip the British winters altogether and just fly somewhere with a warmer climate. One great example of this is the silver wire moth, which will fly all the way to the Mediterranean and then back again in the spring, sometimes with 222 million individuals taking part in this mass migration. That is an incredible distance for such a tiny moth. Now, have you got any nature questions that you want answered? Make sure you comment below and we'll try and answer them for you.